sister missy moreno happy birthday oh she knew the beat happy birthday yes she did oh ready a quick flow um ow 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 yo cliver if you're ever lighting a fire put me up for higher i will tell you that you're one grand fellow if you find me some graham cracker chocolate and marshmallow <laughs> Steel uh, Valley honey. <laughs> you know what? You know when I last time I went to Kennywood, I had sweatpants that said Steel Valley honey in airbrush I on the it. back. Steel and Valley honey. Song. Honey. Steel oh, Valley oh, honey oh, girl. Oh, oh, honey barbecue chips. Chips and chips. Black chips, black chips, yeah! This is why they're on here. We make the first chip, yep, we have a trick chip. Everybody, I'm doing my Nicki Minaj. We had a bowl of uh, we had a bowl of candy, and for some reason, we took Skittles and M and M's, and they ended up in the same bowl. So when you grab a whole handful, yeah. it had like a, a fruity chocolate. I, mm. I love that. That's that's one of your worst birthday memories. You were like, somebody mixed up the M and M's and the Skittles. I'm gonna burn this bitch down. Quickly, I'm wearing this shirt for you because it reminds me of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, because oh, you were same. wearing that when I met you in 1994. Basically, same one. May Mayor Bodner always be with you. Still that. Wait, ready? Still valid. What you gonna say? But happy birthday, Aaron. I'm so Thanks, happy bud. that you are now. You're accepting it. That you're old. And, I'm sick uh, old, that's, dude. That's nice. Missy, uh, I'm happy to hear that your, your fake brother has survived. And, uh, Thank you, young man. You're such a so prosperous nice. millennial. Thank you. Shambones, Shannon Norman. For Aaron's real dad. What? <laughs> My power went out. What? Oh yeah, and not and not in that Steel Valley. Like, oh, I forgot to pay the bill. Way like. This <laughs> uh, you may know him. Uh, he's he's been on so much. I, I don't even know. It's, I can't. I can only just bring him in. My friend Dean Edwards. Everybody, give it up for Dean Edwards coming in. Hey, what's up, y'all? You're you're still doing your show, uh, the Father Muckin Protocol. You said that well. I, I am. I, I am impressed. This guy is good. He's good. <laughs> Before you even zoomed in, I just said, is that Big Trouble from Little China? Oh, Big yeah. Trouble in Little China. You, hold on. <laughs> You're the Duke. You're the Duke number one. You're the Duke now. You're the Duke. You're the Duke. <laughs> Rest in peace, Donald Pleasant. Aaron Brothers. <laughs> Halloween kills. Ha, 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 ha. Halloween kills. Yes. Yes, I love our bitch. Um. I am when Eddie Murphy is busy. Um, mm -hmm. I am the voice of Donkey. Um, all things Donkey. Uh, whether is that you. True? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I said happy birthday. I love it. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Look at that little cup. My Christmas mug.
Everybody, Kid Mental. Clap, clap, clappity, clappy, clap. How you clap, doing, clap, man? Clap, clap. You and you and enjoying clap, this? quarantine. Quarantine jams. Forever, like we're never gonna get out of quarantine. 
<laughs> I think uh, I think you should uh, I think you should create a mixtape called Quarantine Jams. Quarantine. And some jams. of them are yeah, and some of them are introspective, and some of them are like house party, dance party, family dance party, and then <laughs> like you just make beats for quarantine occasions. But then you gotta have some school jams though. And we oh, and, yeah. and most of them will say wear a mask. <laughs> so we, so we don't have to wear 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 is this is this angle good or is this this is better this wow this is how good. to do it i could even get closer huh yeah um how do we how do we how do we as soon as i came on we lost like 15 watchers what is happening what uh, honey they thought it was all, they thought it was all black show that's all True. That's probably true. They're like, probably what right. is this what is this pale they were like in? they were like more white men in showbiz damn it we see this every day damn it are you serious? Did they did I, uh, they just drop? Oh, I, mean, I get it. I was like, I was like, oh wow! And then like fifteen people left. They were like, oh, Aaron's coming on. No, uh, well, that's weird. Cheers to you. Look at look, my big dude. I'm a, I'm obsessed with these. I hope they would sponsor the show. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Wifey says cheers. Boom. Mm. Uh, oh, what do you got cheers, there? Cheers, oh, lemon cheers. lemon Moscato. Yeah. Oh. I just made some weird, um, nasty shit. <laughs> yeah, what are you drinking? What is that, goat milk? It's, it's like cognac with some kefir and some cranberry <laughs> juice. I was like, hmm, maybe I could make something. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, don't try that again. <laughs> I, uh, hey, uh, hello from Steph. Uh, always Hi, watching Stephanie. every week. Yay. And uh, my friend, oh, my friend from Los Angeles. Uh, I was on a Nickelodeon show. Kevin Horton, uh, hey, Kevin Kid Mental, Horton. he just DJed his day drinking shower. Awesome! <laughs> it's it's all one word though, but okay. You sound like you sound like one of the Lost Boys in Hook right now. What? Come on, Rufio. You do. Rufio, Rufio. Rufio. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> They're always in a cave in that movie. <laughs> I shouldn't be. I should not be chewing on ice when I'm hosting a yeah, show. Definitely should um, be chewing on the mic. Definitely. Come on, this I'm is AS, on a, AMSR, baby. I uh, so uh, everybody, everybody watching, uh, hello, welcome, live, happy hour. I feel like I feel oh. like at, we're. I'm at episode 18. I should start saying stuff like that, right? That's awesome. See, now I'm not in an echo. There's no echo. <laughs> he sounds like he sounds like one of the little rascals. <laughs> Hey, what's good? What's good? We love you. I can't. I can't take it seriously. Um, it's like a what cartoon. What are you talking about, Willis? Hey, now you sound like now you sound like Green Mile. <laughs> Isn't that so funny that at, like Michael Clark Duncan, he got mixed up with Ving Rhames when he died. <laughs> no, all the but all like, the white people. Oh yeah, no, that's were, true. All the white people oh, were yeah, like, people uh, Michael Clark Rames Duncan died. died today, and then they put a picture up of Ving Rhames. And I'm like, what thing? What? what? I was like, yeah, damn. I can see that. I can <laughs> see that. It's fucked up. But like, ever since Michael Clark Duncan did Green Mouth, literally, they just call him Green Mouth. They're like, you know that <laughs> actor? You know Green Mouth? Like, it's his wrestling name. That's it. That's it. <laughs> he got pigeon. He got pigeonholed hard. Here comes. Here comes Green Mouth. You know? I'm gonna hug you to death. <laughs> just hug you. Mm. He's a sweet, sweet teddy bear soul. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Hey, I, uh, I got. I, I want to let you know. I uh, got a, a couple good, uh, good fun guests tonight. Uh, young Eric Nesby is going to call in in a couple minutes. Uh, oh, I'm going to have King him come Nesby. on a little bit. Oh, yeah. Snap. Uh, and then uh, my friend uh, Samantha Bentley, comedian Samantha Bentley. She's been on here. Uh, Samantha. She was, she was part of the all all lady takeover uh, of the show Ooh. a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I don't know if you're around for that. Where just six hilarious ladies took over the show. Uh, you can, and, and by the way, speaking of back episodes, uh, you can watch any episodes for free on Patreon.com/slash Aaron Kleiber. Uh, any of the back episodes of Live Happy Hour, uh, you can go on there. But uh, Patreon is also for the podcast Grown Dad Business. Free, free. Grown Dad uh, Business remix. I, uh, 
I love it. Uh, Kid Mental is also featured on Grown Dad Business as a guest uh, pre quarantine, but also full of beats. Uh, I just want I just want to shout out people who still have not uh, if you still haven't listened uh, the Bob Saget episode also available on Patreon if you're a supporter on Patreon you can watch the video but uh, my Bob Saget two part I'm gonna play a clip Kid Mental real quick I'm playing clips now this is like a real late show Bob uh, but if you want you can listen to the podcast Grown Dad Business anywhere you find podcasts but Patreon is the only place you can uh, find the video but the uh, new season of Fuller House. That's June 2nd for your kids. Oh, yeah, it is. That's and the last the episode. It's an old video. It's over. No, that's a joke. Uh, the last episode is the best because I'm in it. So that's. They're, 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 they're pretty joke. excited. Good, Good luck. Yeah, it's not, I, uh, made for, not made for you. But it's but it's you'll like the last one. There's another good one with John Dave. Did you watch it as a kid? Yeah, of course. Well, there's a nice ep- one of the episodes. I don't know which one it is, but it's John, Dave, and I having a touching uh, moment. We touch each other for a moment, just a moment. Oh. <laughs> uh, a quick clip. Are you still drinking goat milk? By the way, I don't know if that that video I shot like a month and a half ago uh, with Bob, and I got my hair. Look how fat I looked. Anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, what are you worried, you worried about, about that? that? <laughs> um, what? But uh, also, uh, I have two more guests coming tonight. Uh, me, the next oh, one me, oh, is uh, also whatever. You know what I mean? Who no, are you? Also. That's what my kids say. My kid oh. says also, oh, also. which is oh. which is also. bear in Spanish. Our friend uh, Suzanne Lawrence is going to be uh, coming in later tonight, uh, along with along with Suzanne. Uh, no. And and tonight, uh, I I have special guests tonight. Um, I don't want people to leave. Uh, but, uh, my friend, John Reap, uh, if you know him as a uh, standup comedian, uh, he's done all kinds of things. One last comic standing. Uh, he wasn't able to make it tonight cause you know, it, it just happens. It just happens. Uh, ended up, you know, bad schedule for me. So special guest. I'm excited to talk to my friend, Mike Sasson, comedian, Mike Sasson. He's been in LA for over a year now, uh, host of the Mike Sasson show, pretty much doing what I've been doing. But like he's been doing it for a couple years, so like nice. a show, you know. Uh, so it's excited. To, I'm excited to see him. I've been literally have not talked to him. I think since he moved to Los Angeles. So because wow. people leave and they're like, you know, I'm doing my thing. You know, doing get it, thing. get it, get her um, done. Yeah. So uh, young Eric Nesby uh, is going to be uh, calling in from Los Angeles uh, in a minute. Oh, he, he in LA so right now. He, is he quarantined he, young in LA? Eric Nesby. You know, um, I, I got mad at him. I got real dad on him. I was like, what are you flying for? What are you flying away for? Flying? You, Don't be- you, you better not leave the house. Uh, but uh, it just ended up, you know, it, he was safe. He told, he checked in. You know what I mean? He's going to tell me. Uh, oh, Steph, uh, love the uh, the uh, all-lady takeover episode. The chick takeover oh, episode. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but anyways. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Do you hear my kids right now? My kids are upstairs. Do you hear those? No, nobody can hear your kids. This is are what's happening bumping? right now. Are they rumbling? Kid, honey, rumbling? what the hell is happening? You don't got to. No, don't worry about it. They don't care. Whatever. They gonna, you know what I mean? They're, They're going to tire themselves asleep. Yeah. Um, Penguin. Now, right now, uh, I'm going to see if I can get young Eric Nesby to call in. <laughs> can you call in? I gotta test my uh, mic. Test, he's here. Test, 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 test. Oh, test. Year. Uh, I'm gonna bring in uh, young Eric Nesby. Boom. Oh, can you what? hear me? Hello. Why is What's up, up brother? Here? What's up, man? The last time you. I seen this boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you what? fighting fellas up gonna... to? What's going on? Hold Whoa. on. I'm gonna, switch, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch you guys around real quick. Hold on. Watch this. Boom, Radiant. Boom. It was like dark, Boom. medium, dark, and then light. So, but now it's like it was medium, crazy. dark, dark, and then I, I did light. cut the grass this week, so I, I am. Make no sense, man. You're not gonna. Yeah. I Why know, is he got a halo? Like me, Look, you, me, me, and you're like a tie, though. Not with these me, cameras, though. Me, and you like a tie. Not with these cameras. You, 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 
You didn't put on some darkness. Bro, yeah, God. you have I put on Eric, some, you have, some darkness. Eric, you have you have you have Spring Hill sweet lighting right now. Look, yeah, you got a black right. halo too. Look, black halo behind I'm, your head. I'm look at that. On. Oh, it's unplugged, but I'm, I'm not Don't even know you're what good. you're doing. Don't do stuff that you don't know what you're doing. Listen, I'm not that's why I'm touching it. My girlfriend must have touched it. I didn't unplug mm. it. She oh, blame it on the it. girlfriend. Yeah. I, know. I feel like too. kid. Kid is like discipline you like an uncle right now. He's like, look, don't you look? You're unplug the dad, everything the before you leave. Lock up the safe. Lock it up, boy. Um, Eric Nesby. Uh, so it's funny. I was just telling kid you you ended up going out to L.A. Mm -hmm. Um. So here's the thing. I want to tell everybody. So Eric had a new talent audition at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, which you waited for. I remember yeah. you telling me. Like two Literally years ago. Like, like two years bro, ago. Bro, it was like so like two long. And a half years ago. Laugh Factory. Yeah. <laughs> what? You, and I was like, you man. Really... And uh what? I'm really that funny looking. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's you, true. You wanted to you want people to laugh at you. <laughs> man. <laughs> that's how it works. That's how it works, kids. Oh, uh, right. Man. Just being funny what? looking. It just it'd be like that. That's it. So you, you went out you didn't even have to say anyway. anything. No, oh, just go up there. What the hell are Yens talking about? He had no bits. He didn't need a bit. Look at his face. Nah, I'll go. For this. <laughs> Why I, are you ripping on Young Eric? I had like two, two, three minutes. I'm, I'm gonna sit up there and just gonna look at them like this, and That's I hope they don't laugh. That's all will. funny looking. It's guaranteed, homie. <laughs> Let me ask you, uh, Eric. Uh, how how are things out there? Do you feel safe? How was it Honestly, going out? Give us. I'm, I'm really like, give us the report. You're so out. So I'm gonna give you from Pittsburgh to work to my uh, layover in Colorado to LA. So from Pittsburgh, it, it was like an empty flight, and me and my girlfriend we sat. Uh, there, there, the middle seat was open, so uh, we sat the two end seats, and then it was nice. cool going there. It was it was great. I had wipes, so I made sure I wiped down my seat and her seat and all <laughs> that. Let's listen. Said, I brought wipes. I brought spray. Did you what had is... a mega wipes or did you had a little tiny ones? Listen, you had to like nah, pull bro, out a hundred. I'm not playing. I, I brought some. I brought like he put, he put, he put them this in, he brought, he put them in a baggie. And then this is the disposable. What is that bag. evidence? What is that? <laughs> this is the support uh, disposable bag. And after my trip, oh. I'm gonna throw it away. I'm smart. And then where's the mask at? We got like two hundred masks. You're supposed to burn it. Don't don't be throwing a burn it. Oh, look, we got all these. Look, I'm safe. Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Nesby's out there doing surgery. <laughs> yeah, where are your gloves at, homie? Where are your gloves at? <laughs> I don't know where my gloves are. I actually think I don't know where my gloves at. But Colorado was safe. And then when we came to LA, everybody's wearing their mask. Like it's unbelievable. Even homeless people are wearing their mask. Like. Bro, it's crazy. Like, that's good to hear. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, good to hear. And that's people, way better than people, Pittsburgh. People are following, you know, the, the social distancing. You know, they're about, yeah, the people are real nice out here. Everybody has their mask on. I, you know, I feel right. okay. Um, they have some outdoor eatings. It's not as closed that everybody thinks it is. Um, right. The mall, the mall was open. It was some outlet mall we went to. Um, the pier, the pier is kind of closed, but you you can still walk the beach and. Do all that, walk yeah, the pier. You showed me, there was like nobody at Santa Monica Pier. Nobody. I know. Nobody. That's in the summertime. That's usually it's fat. I mean, it's packed. You it's can't always even crazy. All year, it's crazy. I know. Oh yeah. And that's what I said. Like we probably how long were we at the pier for? Like an hour, hour and a half. We just we just chill. We got something to eat there. Uh, it was great. So that's nice. I like I like. Would you just if my show had a budget, I would just fly Eric all around the country and just <laughs> he would be the correspondent. Give you know, my, give my reviews. I'm like, how safe right now is Utah? And you'd be crying. <laughs> Utah is horrible. I think I got that corona. I don't got no mask. Nobody social distancing. Everybody giving you hugs. Did you see? <laughs> they dap it Did up. you see? Did you see? There was like an auditorium of people in Utah with no masks, like oh, trying to say they want to send their kids to school. Like what? Like what crazy. is happening? Listen, I, I knew this place was safe when I seen the homeless people. Like once I seen the bombs have right. stuff wrapped around their face, I'm like, oh, this we straight out here. We straight. We right. We straight. We Everywhere has like, takes, everyone like little everybody. corner. Everybody. Even the homeless people. The it's the war, it's, you know, we hear stories about like in World War II, there was the war effort and every people were right. They were I keep saying they keep they gave all their buttons to melt down to make tanks. You know what I mean? And yeah. we got the homeless people are wearing masks. This is wonderful. I love it. Yep. It's dope. Everyone I, does I their part. Yep. I know. There's, I love it. there's some dine-ins, but mainly takeout. Yeah, so take really, you're just you're just vacationing in your hotel room. 
No, uh, what, what did we do today? We there's there's a lot of places time. to walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We walked to Hollywood. Um, we walked to Hollywood Boulevard. Um, we went to went to the pier yesterday. Uh, today we saw the Hollywood sign, and we walked nice. all through uh, Sunset Boulevard up and down. Um, uh, did Washington. you hike Runyon Canyon yet? Oh man, brother, listen, I ain't, I ain't down for no hiking. Like I <laughs> like like listen, we we went to we went saw what was called the Griffin the Griffith Observatory. Griffith Observatory. So we walked around there, and they're like, there's like behind it, there's like a little hill, it's like a little track. Oh yeah, we walked, yeah. We walked a little bit down there. It was hot. I didn't care for it. And then walking back up was the worst. Like walking down was easy. But walking up that hill, I'm like, man, I really, I, I kind of felt ashamed of myself. Then like, you don't. Then hill. you don't want to go. Runyon is no. That's that's a workout. It's fun. I, I, I I'll, I'll fun. look at it from a distance. That's great. But I, ain't, I there's no running for me. That's a cool place. It is. I took my wife to Griffith Observatory. Did you know what movie? Did you know where one of my favorite movies they filmed there? Uh, the beginning of Terminator. Yes, oh, I didn't know that. It's That's where Arnold Schwarzenegger shows up. Did you want to know something? What? That same what? place is on GTA Five. I was. I, I was, know I, it. I called my friend. I said, "Bro, this it's is LA. on the heist where you shot down the plane. You, you, went, you got that <laughs> car. And you shot at them. He was like, chasing you. It was crazy. Crazy. I love. I love that in GTA. Like, if you really, if you really know Los Angeles, the, the comedy store. The comedy store is in GTA. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. It's like the same building. It's so you mm -hmm. see certain places. Yeah, it's funny. I love that his. That's why you're young, Eric. That's why. <laughs> And he gets to Los Angeles. He's like, "Yo, this is where GTA, GTA was." GTA was. There was a mission where you're at a Santa Monica Pier, and you yep. shoot Steve Haynes. And I'm like, "Yo, <laughs> on that, on that, on that, uh, what the Ferris wheel? That is where you shot uh, Steve Haynes. Steve That's Haynes. It was great. And then he Young died. Eric Nesby. <laughs> it was great. I know you're looking around for free helicopters. You're like, there's usually a helipad over here. Man, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Um. You guys, uh, man, um, hold on. I'm gonna pour a drink. I'm gonna pour a drink. You're not drinking yet. Drink. It's like six o'clock. I mean, well, I, I don't know if this is is your show. What's rated your show? Is this it PG quarantine, man? We drinking I mean, all I, day I don't know. long. This, I, I don't know. Oh, look, you're in California. Oh, look yeah, at he's you, in Cali. Yeah. Young yeah. Eric Ness, living the young man life. I want. I'm, I, I let me tell you this: the, the cookie store is overrated. Spark it up. The cookie store is overrated. But I'll definitely spark store. some. Yeah, it's very overrated. Well, apparently, uh, if you if you How weren't on last charging? week, uh, oh my god, I, I ate cookies with Colin oh, Chamberlain that night for his birthday. Really? Oh, happy birthday, Colin! If if you're watching, <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah, happy. I'm birthday. blocked on Facebook. Yeah. I'm blocked on Facebook, so I can't tell him happy birthday. That's why I've been. <laughs> bro, oh, he blocked yeah, bro. you? Been, no, no, no! I've been blocked on Facebook for like ten days. So oh like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Facebook blast. I think I yeah, have like how do you, three more days or less. How do you you're in Facebook jail like twice a month? <laughs> That's kind of, look at his face. I'm telling you. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. If he if he just posted his, oh my bad. But this time wasn't even my fault though. I, I was standing up for somebody. Somebody, you know, it was I don't know who I was standing up if for. You the same, if you posting if you pasting posting the same stuff you post on Instagram, nah, nah, I can nah, understand nah, nah, why nah, they nah, be listen, blocking listen. you. No, nah, listen. So what happened was WPXI had posted something had happened in Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brandon. Brandon. I love Hill. Brandon. Love Brandon. And I, somebody had said something that it was inappropriate. So I had said something, right. I guess I had it was cyberbullying to them. And yeah. and I I was blocked for ten days. Oh, you cyber! Boy. I, like I said, I was standing there for somebody. That's all. I was See, just kind of standing. Now there. you he got some. Now you got some internet hero. creds. You man, got some nah. internet creds, man. You I got need to mind my creds. own business. That's you got what happens. your creds, man. I need to mind my own I, uh, business. <laughs> Eric, enjoy enjoy Cali, my friend. Be safe. Uh, I'll yes, see sir. you soon. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be say there. hi. Say hi to the to the lady. I know she's in there just rolling her eyes at you for being silly because that's no. what happens. No, she's sleeping. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Be safe. Yes, sir. Thank Thank you. You. Take care. Try to get in there. All right, young Eric. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir. Kid Mental. Yes, sir. Thanks for being here, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, no problem. Maybe I'll see you next week. Huh? Maybe. Huh? <laughs> eh? Yeah. When My friends give it up for Kid Mental. Yeah. Check out kidmental.com. He does theme songs. 
Oh, yeah. oh. I beatbox uh, for so you. Check, that's right. Check him out. Uh, he does theme songs for all kinds of things, but you can see more kidmental.com. All right. I love it, brother. Talk to you soon. All right, so peace. Pew. Dude, got a good show. This is good. This worked out okay. Good. Um, this worked out all right. It's all right. I poured a drink. Cheers. Actually, you know what? This this week I was afraid that I didn't have enough guests. Uh, because it was like it felt like the last I'm talking to my wife, by the way. If people don't even she's part of the show, but this is it. Look, boom. Oh. Uh <laughs> where, where are you at? I don't know. Hey, get out of here. We got kids in here. We got kids. What do you want? We got we got kid alert. We got a kid alert right now. Guys, we gotta call security. This is this is unacceptable. Daddy's already tipsy as F. Um I uh I'm serious, there's kids right now. Can't happen. Because I do this show pantsless. That's why. Um hey, shout out to uh once again, uh about a month ago, whoever uh sent me an Amazon gift of Death Star Ice Cubes. It's a hit. Now that my kids argue about who's going to use the goddamn Death Star Ice Cube, so I appreciate that. Um, Daddy gets them tonight. Uh, all right, I think we're settled. Are we? I don't know. It sounds like my wife killed one or two kids. I have no idea. Um, no, I was afraid uh, I didn't have enough guests, and I was like, you know what? This is nice. We just take a break, you know, and just bring guests in. And uh, my guest, uh, John Reap, <laughs> was, uh, was not able to make it tonight. And uh, I just lost all my viewers. No, that's not true. But I'm I'm excited to bring in uh, my friend uh, Mike Sasson, everybody. Uh, started in Pittsburgh, is in Los Angeles. He has his own show, The Mike Sasson Show. Mike Sasson! There he is. Holy, oh my God. You've, you've got children murdered and you've got Death Star ice cubes. It's 9.30 where you are. It's 6.30 where I am. I'm not even, I, I still remember my name. I mean, this is, this is, I'm, I, I need to catch up. I didn't know what was going on here. This is crazy. I love, I love how you're all ready for like sports beat KDKA right now. I th this, this is Aaron Kleiber. I can't just be, you know, in my bathtub right now playing with myself. I gotta, I gotta step up my game. I mean, you got the posters in the back. You got, you got 172 kids now. I mean, like you're, you're, you're trying to make a living with no, we're a post stand up world apparently, you know, know here in Los I, Angeles. They just said if we don't get, if we don't cut this whole breathing air in, they're just make it that we all have to just move to Arizona. We're, they, we're just clearing the whole place out and then cleaning up. We're just bringing a hazmat crew. I, uh, you know, I, uh, I saw you're, 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 I saw you do some, uh, outdoor shows. You're doing it. Yeah, you're this is, driving. uh, that's, yeah, that's the thing about uh, Los Angeles is, and it's weird because there was a couple New York guys here and they were, they were all concerned that they're not going to be able to get rid of this virus by like, let's say Thanksgiving, at which point. They're worried that comedy in like New York is going to shut down. So they had already said, what's, well, they're moving out to LA because again, Wow. Yeah, uh, you can, you know, obviously it'll be warm year round, except for the fact that if you tell that to someone out here in Los Angeles, you say, oh, it's going to be warm here all around. Like, no, it gets to 55. It gets to, <laughs> you know, it, 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 oh, sometimes, it, got to, it got to 49 one like December or years ago. So don't give me this. It doesn't get cold in L.A. stuff. I, know. So. I love I love, uh, you know, you you being uh, spending time in Pittsburgh. It's so funny because you're wait, you're from you're from Pittsburgh. Yeah, I went to Fox Chapel. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm Pittsburgh right. through and through. Like, I'm just checking. I, uh, I told you I'm a little tipsy. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm liking minutes, this, Aaron. By the way, <laughs> oh, dude! Everybody watching knows around nine thirty, nine thirty-five. I pour a Jameson, and I already I'm I'm already you know this this was just White Claw. I know. Look how Karen I am right now. I seriously <laughs> pour White Claw in a Turvis hockey cup. I mean. <laughs> And I'm wearing a homestead shirt, and everybody's angry right now because they're like, "Who are you?" Um, I'm like a suburban mom. Um, I'm addicted to those Tervis cups; they're the best, Mike. Um, no, it's so funny that like I, I talk about that all the time about weather, and like people in LA have that story. Like people in Pittsburgh have the oh, when I was a kid, there was four feet of snow; it was negative twenty, and like that's the equivalent to LA stories. Like, remember when it was forty seven? That one yeah. year, it yeah. was crazy. Remember when there was like a, one snow, when one piece of snow fell in like Van Nuys once and we canceled school for two months? Like, 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> By the way, uh, Adam Chico, Aaron Mike, love the show. <laughs> Little Pittsburgh sports show reference. Dude, I, let's do it. Here you, yeah, hey, uh, that was one of the – if you guys don't remember, I was part of the fan when it first started out. And the thing right. that I remember when that started was my biggest concern was someone was going to call and have, like, some fact that I would have – and I'd blank on. Yeah. All anybody wanted to do was just, like – I because the thing is, when you're on sport, like, because you're on now, a, you know, star and everything, you know that when you get a call in, they put, like, the producer will put, like, you know, Steve Munhall, you know, wants to talk, you know, bucko, right. something. And, like, I remember one time we had, like, a guest and everything like that. This guy stayed on the phone for 45 minutes at <laughs> 2 in the morning on a Sunday – yeah. And eventually I get to him. I'm like, all right, this is uh, Chucky from Blonox. Chucky, what do you got? He goes, I just want to say that uh, I love Big Ben and uh, I think we're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's it. That was 45 minutes. 45 minutes to say that at 2 in the morning on a Sunday. So you know, I, uh, I, a, couple, a handful of weeks ago, uh, two guys, the comedians that love sports, I had Frank Nicotero and Joey Bartnick on. And it, we just laugh at it, it like – how serious Pittsburgh sports is. And then when you get out of town, you know, for an extended period of time, like, you know, I travel enough and then, you know, you left Pittsburgh and now you're like, wait, what do I do on Sunday now? You know, like, well, like, I, I know what I'm doing on Sunday. I'm watching the Steeler game, but everyone else cool. will be like, so, what, uh, what do you, so, uh, you know, about uh, one o'clock, uh, you know, want to go, uh, I'm like, no, the Steelers are playing the Ravens. The f yeah. uh -oh. fact that you asked me that means we're not friends anymore. Like that's the, like it, it, it's, it's, it's funny thing. Like I just, in Los Angeles, it's just something, it's something else to do. It's like, Oh, well we could go to the beach. We could go here. We could do this. Or, you know, the Rams might be playing or they might lose. They might win by a hundred. Great. Whatever. It's not right. like in Pittsburgh where it's just like one o'clock Sunday, you're watching the Steeler game. If they lose, you have a bad week. Like I, I've had yeah. like my day jobs have been like selling appliances. We knew that if the Steelers lost on Sunday, we right. were going to have a terrible Monday and Tuesday. Like no one would want to buy appliances. <laughs> I it's so funny too like uh you know comedy learns that lesson also I remember uh, a comedian that will remain remain nameless but also uh who recently got covid but anyway um <laughs> for going out on tour in the middle of June but anyway uh this comic <laughs> insisted on having a show in Pittsburgh on Sunday night and there was a Steeler game on at 4 and they insisted on having a 7 p.m. show on Sunday night. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, this is oh, this is going to be fun. And they lost. Okay. It was a game against Baltimore. They lost against Baltimore. There were. Now, I will say this person is very, they're very famous. Okay. Yeah. They were, they, they are considered one of the kings of comedy. Mm -hmm. um, they had. 21 people i mean it was but you know i'm surprised me, he got I, that much that's a that's a credit dude i couldn't believe it and they were like i'm telling you the steelers are pretty powerful around here it was crazy right well the one time that was weird i remember i had i was i was headlining a show at the arcade and um it was a saturday night when there was a penguin capitals playoff game oh and I remember going in and it was the, the show was at nine. I walk in at eight 45 and there's nobody. I repeat nobody in the building that was a paid person to watch comedy. So I go up to uh, Mr. Clark, our mutual friend. And I go, are we canceling this? Are we, you want me, we go to the bar, watch the game. He goes, no, we're sold out. And I go, what? what's right. going on? We're sold out. And I go, what's going on? An engineering fraternity at Carnegie Mellon was bringing, this was like their social. I they were bringing it. everybody in. So they filled it up. It was literally 75 CMU engineering students yeah. and three girls <laughs> to watch yours truly. <laughs> Tell some, uh, tell, tell some, uh, tell some, uh, Blonox, uh, tell some Blonox weather jokes. Yeah. 
But uh, but like so, you never know if it. he would have maybe connected with the uh, the engineering fraternity at Carnegie Mellon. Maybe he could have gotten some uh, some decent attendance not the night of a Steeler game. But that's the only time. Any other time, yeah, you might as well just get. Ca- we canceled Mike's. Remember Monday night, no, like when Pleasure Bar. We would just we'd have oh, to be like, yeah, well, there's I mean, no yeah, there's no are, anything. You know. Oh yeah, no Monday Monday night uh, football. Forget about it. If it was a Steeler game, forget about it. Canceled show. Canceled. Every time, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't even bring it up to you. We wouldn't, we, we, no one would text, be like, I know, I'd be like, Can we have a show? No, um, so Mike, besides, what have you been, what have you been up to, dude? You still got, you still doing the Mike Sasson show? Well, what yeah, happened here is I will be doing the Sasson show. Um, Alex decided to go kind of in her own way, and you know, Alex, obviously, eternally grateful for uh, for doing the three and a half years of the show. Um, and so I was going to start the show up, but then the world stopped and I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily have all of the technical equipment and everything like that, but there will be a return of the Mike Sasson show. Um, it will mostly probably be me until I make friends, but, uh, (laughs) but, uh, as of right now, uh, there will, dude, I tell you what, dude. This the way I but do until my show, then, like, really, it's out here. It's it's go ahead. No, no, I just saying the way yeah, I do my show I mean, like this. It's now I literally started doing video like my podcast, and now I started this show because I'm like, well, I can't get on stage, and I just miss comedians. I just want to hang out. No, you know what I mean. So like, it, it ended up this works. This is you know this is fun. So if you want a, this a is, help, let me know. I, I can tell this you how is, all I this works. I appreciate that. Now I will tell you this: the first time, like, we had we had we had the virus, and then for like a month they let us out. And for that time, we got to like right. do mics again. And the one thing, I mean, again, right. mics are yeah. they're terrible. I don't want to watch the comedians; they're horrible, you know, horrible comedians and mostly terrible people. But right. the thing is, it right. was the hang. It was the hang yeah. oh. outside and just the it just and just yeah. being able to like just communicate comedian to uh, comedian. Yeah, that's what you miss, man. Because we're we're different sort. We're we're aliens on this planet. Yeah. We see different. <laughs> I know. I, that's what I said. Being able to do video and uh, and and cut up with my friends like this. This is like it's like partly a show, partly just me catching up with comedian friends and making each other laugh. You know what I mean? My friend Missy mm-hmm. Marina will come on and co-host with me sometimes. It's just a fun cut up time. I don't I can't say that I'm gonna produce a good show. I have no idea. Right, honey? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe have a good Aaron, drink with you. That's a really good show. Yeah. Aaron, if, if there's any drink, person a good show. Yeah. That's my wife. So. Aaron, if there's any human being on the planet that understands just press record and see what happens. It's the big man you're looking at right now. That that if you want to talk about like what what was the Mike Sasson show for three and a half years? It was me walking into a studio in Millvale, Alex taking my levels, and then just going, All right, let's see what happens. And then most of the time it was just basically me ranting about celebrities that annoyed me. And then I'd bring on a comedian. We both yell about celebrities in life that annoyed us. And then we'd throw it out there into the world. And then people Dude, would message I, me with like, you know, outright stuff. I don't know what was happening. But <laughs> Dude, I, I love no, that's the way I love guessing on your show. Uh, because it's just fun. It's just that's what it is. Uh, you just cut up and make each other laugh. And you know, if you have topics, sure. I uh, I was just asking. I my next guest actually is hanging out waiting. Um, I asked her uh, today. Uh, Suzanne Lawrence, everybody's coming up. Uh, oh, I know. and uh, yeah, I asked her. I was like, should I have topics? Like, should I like? I don't know. And because I don't, I'm like, honey, should I have topics? Like, I just, you know, we'll figure out something to talk about. You know, it, right now everyone's like, this isn't. You're not talking about anything. This is the Seinfeld of late shows. Everyone. Yeah. This was, yeah, this was, this made me laugh. It, it was enjoyable to see Aaron. It's enjoyable to see Aaron, uh, basically, uh, just happy to be alive using star Wars paraphernalia to intoxicate himself. That was fun. Uh, his <laughs> wife is, 
His wife is on the side, just basically just feeding him drinks until until he goes to sleep, and then she can leave. That I think that's her goal. Yeah, no, uh, the wants, kids. She wants, to, she wants to put me to bed so I can watch super, so she can watch Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> See, there's a game that smart. That's how that's how you work it. That's where that's why they call it the brains of the operation. You figure that she one is. out. She's she's the uh, she's the CFO. That's what I call her. She's oh. the brain. She, she yeah. handles all the numbers. Yeah. You're an idea uh, man. <laughs> exactly. Hey, uh, I want to bring in our friend, uh, Suzanne Lawrence, uh, because, you know, you probably want to say hi. And I feel like, Mike, I have not seen you since you moved. I have not. I don't even think I've talked to you because you were like a thief in the night. You were gone. Just poof. Um, now, okay. Now, this is one thing. You were one of the people I actually did tell. I do remember that. I do. But you were like, but you were like, hey, I'm moving in a, like 20 minutes. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, Mike Sasson is frozen. So until he's unfrozen, his freeze frame is spectacular. I think that's the best. This is it. This should be the Mike. Did you see the freeze frame that you were just in? No, I didn't. What was it? <laughs> you. You, it should be the cover of every show you ever host. It was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That was it. But I did tell you. So when you said it was a thief in the night, you were an accomplice. And I said, hey, Aaron, I'm going to I'm gonna rob this bank in two weeks. And you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't even, you were like, it was Tuesday. And you're like, I'm leaving Thursday. I was like, what? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not like I got a lot of people. It's not like I got a lot of things to take. I mean, it was a Mario Lemieux hockey stick and and like three black shirts. <laughs> I'm gonna three black shirts. I'm gonna bring in Suzanne Lawrence. I don't want to bring her in before she's not ready. Uh, I respect that, Suzanne. There you are. What are you implying? Uh, that I'm not ready. Do I look not ready? Oh, to you? No, born ready. Like Suzanne's ready. born ready. You're ready. You look like you're ready to teach a leadership class. Look at you. Yeah, you know, you look you look like we were in trouble by HR, and you're just like, okay, you shouldn't have been sending those emails. And I'm like, oh, what's the plan? You should have sent them directly to me. (laughs) No, because last last week, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm, uh, um, you know, I'm okay. One of us doesn't have kids. One of them, that's the one who's like, I'm doing great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me, we're, me, we're like, this is all we have. This is stay on forever. <laughs> yeah. There, there was yeah. more like, like, Clyro was texting me, and I was like, listen, I am desperately trying to fix this web page for work that has to go live tonight. Um, and also, my daughter is officiating a horse wedding. So I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> like, I can't. I'm glad you were at least. Were you at least invited to the horse wedding? Oh yes, yes. Um, okay, good. It was a, a point. It was a problem that I wasn't really attending. So. Oh, she just kept on asking RSVPing. How many people? It's a plus one. What are you gonna oh. eat? Uh, just like it's a horse and wedding. Like, probably formal, carrots and sugar. Like who? What horses have a formal wedding? I am not getting out of jammies for that. I heard the dad's rich. That's why but they, he won sec- He won the Kentucky Derby, and so he has like the money to throw around on a big time horse it. wedding. You nailed it. I, I love uh, the comments below. Is just like get fat man off screen. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, Mike. Your freeze frame looked like you were yelling about five G. Like, I am. <laughs> I am. That's it's most. It's mostly what I do out here in Los Angeles. I go to the beach. I hold a sign trying to tell people not to wear masks because you know COVID. It's made up. Anyways, <laughs> just is that happening in LA? Like, are are there people who are doing that? Like outside of Venice? Well, first off, the, you you've seen this with the two guys with going around uh, yes. uh, Newport Beach. I, those are comics, and I know them, and they're really, really good. They're getting, like, you want to talk about the definition going viral. But, yeah, I mean, I think if you, and if you've ever been to, like, the beaches in Los Angeles, that I don't think that was an indictment of America. That was an indictment of the mental health of someone who's there at, you know, at Newport Beach at 2 in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Or literally it's, anyone who lives in Orange County. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Orange County is, I I, that's, it's the, yeah, it's the, it's, I it's, a, somebody, I 
saw somebody post today that that Orange County is the Florida of California. That's what they just said. Uh, it, also, it hopes to be someday. Early, earlier, I had young Eric Nesby. Suzanne, Eric Nesby is in L.A. right now. I know. That's crazy. Uh, he was my correspondent. He said that homeless people are even wearing masks. Guys, mm -hmm. it's the war effort. That's what it, we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Now, if we could just get Pascagoula, Mississippi, <laughs> or whatever. I just named some <laughs> random I could get people on my neighborhood Facebook page who I argue with um, for no reason. Like, I know I shouldn't be argue arguing with them, but I, uh, you know. It's Do so you think funny. ever someone in a Facebook argument, the other person has just been like, dot, 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 you're right, I'll change. I've actually seen it happen. <laughs> really? I've seen it happen. I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but. Uh, that, that should be a movie. Honestly, the person that could change I'm someone's mind on social media. I'm just getting my roast jokes out on people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just write roast honest. jokes about people on Facebook and then just write. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, honestly. Somewhere. Like my kid can't yeah. take the brunt of all this evil I've got in here. <laughs> you write roast yeah, jokes I've, about I've, how I've terrible the horse wedding was. A few times. I don't like being mean, but I, I've written quite a few times. You're dumb. You're dumb. Yeah, like you're, you're just wrong, you're dumb. Dude. Yeah, you're dumb. No, that doesn't make sense. You're dumb. You're an adult. This is you should be ashamed of talking like this. You're an you're a dumb adult. You're dumb. <laughs> like you work in a tire center. Why do you think you know more than the CDC? Like I don't. How? how no, it's it it's happen? it's all made up, Susan. It's all yeah. made up, Suzanne. It's all it's this is all a giant conspiracy from Big Mask. And it's all trying. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's you know they've been running the world, they've been pulling the strings, and then eventually they just said, "Hey, let's come up with a pandemic that you know kills a bunch of people, and then we'll be rolling in the cash." I bet you, if you follow the money, that's where Bezos is making most of his money. It's through Big Mask. See, what's uh, funny is there are people that are going to take these clips and post them to Reddit and be like, "Look, this comedian knows the truth." <laughs> You know what I think it is? I think it's big tennis. Have you noticed that on every list of safe activities, tennis? There, and golf, that has to be a very safe activity. Oh, yeah. Any Gol everybody's still golfing. Where's Tiger Woods right now? Probably in a bunker with yeah. a <laughs> Yeah. Golf, it, NASCAR. NASCAR, you can drive. If maybe they did the NFL where everyone just got into a car and crashed into each other. I just came up with a new sport. Boom. You know what? If guys crashed into each other with cars on the field, it might be better for their brains. Yeah. <laughs> they, there'd be some safety. <laughs> um, Mike, it's not like you you played football like most of your life. So, so, And now you're a comedian, so clearly there's something wrong with your head. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to the onset of CTE. I don't want to remember 2020. Why would I want to remember any of this? You guys are going to be sitting there in your old ages, sitting there going, oh, remember 2020? And I'm going to be like, I like strawberry pancakes. Everything's <laughs> going to be fine for me. I think I'm going to pick up a contact sport. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> this, should be the, this should be like the selling point for Goodell from the NFL. Just be like, hey, have you liked the last eight months? These guys won't remember any of it and have a million dollars. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, my friend, my friend Adam has a great idea. Uh, his new dating site uh, just went live. Okay, COVID, just masks and smoky eyeshadow. I cannot tell you how many times I have been going out, like on a rare outing, like I have to go go to go to a thing, uh, and I'll put on lipstick. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I'm like, oh, I'm going out. I I own lipstick. I guess this is when you use, like, I don't even know anymore. I don't know how to be a person uh, that other people see. So I'm like putting on some lipstick and then I just put my mask on. I'm like, you're such a fucking idiot, Suzanne. <laughs> like, I just, I, I know. I, I'm at a point, I'm, I'm opposite. I feel so free. I'm going to the grocery store with mesh shorts, no underwear, flip flops, and a, and a, and, and just a, a tank top. I don't care. My wife is laughing because she knows I don't give a shit. My hair's messed. I used to go be like, oh, somebody might see me at Shop and Save. Like, hey, aren't you Aaron, that comedian from Steel? No, nobody gives a shit. First of all, usually that never happens. But now, who cares? Nobody knows. Today, I was wearing a mask and sunglasses, and I had never felt so free. 
I was like, I'm gonna I steal know. a car. I'm gonna steal a car. I I, no one cares. A couple days ago, a couple days ago, I, I did the mask sunglasses in a bank. And again, they can't tell you to take any of them off. And I'm just like, all of us could, there's no way they'd catch us, except for the fact that I'm six foot four in a city with tall, with short people. That's the only thing <laughs> that they would find a way to catch me. It definitely took a minute to get used to. The first couple of times we went to uh, a store, my wife and I, I was like, look, let's go get this money, baby. Like, if we felt like Bond <laughs> like it, It's weird. Well, like I was in a 7-Eleven and I look off to the side and I see a guy in, a, in, a, in like a bandana coming in. I'm like, oh, no, what's going on? And he's just picking up milk. I did. <laughs> listen, I that has. OK, I don't know what it is, is action movies or I was hit as a child. I have no idea. But I get like like danger anxiety, like Spidey sense. And mm -hmm. in, in the last four months, probably four or five times someone has come around the corner with like a bandana or a mask on their face. And I was like, Oh shit. Like, I was like, what are they doing? Like in my head, I'm like, what are they up to? Like, but I'm like, um, I'm wearing one too. You dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing I'm doing now is now, like I started with like the regular blue mask, like the medical mask, which is the, I don't really care. This is the least amount I can do mask. Now I've gotten like, I actually went into like, again, steel city, kind of giving them a plug because of Alex Clemens. And I got the ones that's the steel city thing, which is a nice conversation starter out here in LA. But then I needed to get bigger masks. So I actually went on to uh, a, the tall and fat store they now have tall and fat masks they and now i got the yeah i got the tall and fat level masks but the thing is which is so stupid is they actually put the dxl on the freaking <laughs> mask and i'm like do i have to advertise for your company that everyone know everyone knows i have a 2xl t-shirt on let's be I honest and so <laughs> Yeah, if I, so I literally had to cut the, the, the little thing off that said to DXL because I'm like, I'm not getting paid by these people, so I'm not advertising. I, I, I need, dude, I need a, a fat guy mask. I need a big and fat mask. Look at this. Look, look at these. Look, look, what, what, look at this. Look, look at my ears. Look, look at this. I look like Jeff Sessions. Look at me. Yes. You look like you should be going for the ring. Yeah, you're like, oh, precious. Yeah, you're going nuts. Yes, that's why I had to get. I, I'm telling you, Aaron, go to the tall and fat. Go to the tall and fat site and get the tall and fat. I'm plugging so many people right now for the millions. Yes, get the tall and fat masks for the giant headed people. Because, by the way, that's another thing I had to adjust in Los Angeles. The closest tall and fat to me is in Las Vegas. Like, there's no right. tall and fats in Los Angeles. Right. I, everything's online or I have to go to like, uh, I got to go to a, 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 a mall that's about know. to close in the valley. Just go east. Go to the Inland Empire. Just keep going east. <laughs> yeah, that's One that. You want to talk about Florida? That's Oklahoma. But, you know, yeah. but they, 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 they want to be near Hollywood. I guarantee Rancho Cucamonga has a DXL store. <laughs> Yeah, when I drove through that the first time, I was like, I can't believe I didn't know that was a real place. That's what that's one of the things like when you drive in Los Angeles, you're I like, oh, my God, that's a real thing. place. That's a real place. <laughs> Someone you, lives there. Someone goes to Rancho Cucamonga High School. You like, know they're what? fighting I, Cucamongas. I've only heard Bugs Bunny ever say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's well, so like the, uh, when I drove through Albuquerque, that was the famous line through Bugs Bunny. I take a left at Albuquerque, and I'm like, I'm here, and I'm I just went straight. But uh, <laughs> very beige city, by the way. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just uh, that it's it's not a very big man friendly town, but everyone does like give you a little bit more like you get more shocking looks of like, dear God. This man is large. Whereas in Pittsburgh, I, I'm viewed as being like I'm, used, I'm I'm viewed as being like, hey, look at Mr. Fitness over here that he can touch his toes. You know, you're you're a nine in McKeesport. <laughs> oh, I'm still the mayor of McKeesport. I won an election. I didn't even run. He said, I'm still. I was at an Eaton Park there. I was at the salad bar. They're like, wait, you can afford the salad bar? You run our city. Bring back steel. <laughs> Damn, digging hard, okay? We still live here, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> 
Homestead's have, nice. <laughs> we have to, it is. We, I like Homestead. We we have to we have to do VFW shows around here, not you anymore. Okay, relax. Well, I get to do. Well, I did. I did a VFW show in uh, Simi Valley. That was yeah. that was bringing back the pe- the uh, Pennsylvania in me because little and no, that's where they send all the LA cops. And uh, that was that was Pennsylvania. That was a sunny Pennsylvania. I was so doing was, that was an interesting thing. So it was all the cops that were retired who were in the L.A. riots. They're probably a blast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but literally, like I did my I was doing like, oh, I'm going to do all my L.A. stuff that I do at the clubs. And they're like not having it. And I'm like, no, I'm doing the stuff I did in Javosburg murdered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, uh, Mike, dude, I'm, hey, man, I'm glad. Thank, hey, first of all, I just want to say thank you for coming in at the last minute. Suzanne, I literally texted Mike. I was like, hey, man, um, I was going to have him on next week. I was like, um, but John Reap is puking right now. Uh, I don't know, food poisoning, whatever. Anyway, um, I was like, can you come on in like 45 minutes, maybe? You want to come on now? So, um, thank you for doing that. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I appreciate that. No problem. It was great to see both you guys. Thank you, brother. Uh, Mike Sasson show is coming back soon. I'm gonna do. Good. I'm gonna tell you how to do all this. You can do it yourself. You got it. Yes, I can do it. I just be. It was just me be screaming into the thing. Wear a mask, damn it! So there's football in the fall. <laughs> That's, the pose. That's the pose right here. <laughs> That's the truth. Mike Stassen. What's the d- why, why is it there a Wendy's closer to me? <laughs> <laughs> See you, brother. Happy Friday, brother. Cheers. Cheers. Bing. Mike Stassen. Uh, Suzanne. What's up? Friend. Uh, so uh, I'm still waiting for uh, one of our final guests. I don't know if it's going to happen because sometimes people have to work late. Uh, yeah, but. I know I was gonna have some the family. Um, this is crazy. This show, this show has gone nuts. It was uh, I lost my uh, main guest and uh, Samantha. That's all right. It's okay. I had friends call in. It's been a good time. Um, you really, your your lighting is so perfect. It looks like that you are on green screen and googled like <laughs> like, like, a house, like, like a Dormont house. Like show me a Dormont middle class house. <laughs> Here, no. my lighting setup. I'm gonna turn around my my laptop. Okay. Whoa! Right, I just came up with that tonight. This is my new thing. I got I made like a reflector board with some aluminum foil and a pizza box. No joke. I I the first thing I noticed, I was like, wow, your lighting is really good. Yeah, I can look see my face way too clearly. I'm just like, what? Am I making that face on purpose? Like, why does my face look like that? I know. That's when I go like this, and I'm like this, and I'm like, huh, 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 back up. <laughs> yeah, when you suddenly see me, like, open my eyes and kind of try to smile a little bit, and it looks even weirder, like, that's when I've noticed my weird face. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll keep it wide. Uh, Suzanne, no, thanks for hanging out tonight. Thanks for stopping in. I, 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 I'm, I'm sad I missed Sam, but uh, we can have her again. No problem. Oh, we should we should have her every week. I know, yeah. I know, I know. It's so funny, and I already I mentioned before uh, that um, when I was uh, saying that I was what guests I was having on, I said you know Suzanne and Samantha was part of the all lady takeover, and a couple people already were like, so when's that happening again? <laughs> See, I'm telling you, I love it. I don't care. Yeah. I because lo- then I don't Remember have to Dick do anything. Burger? Dick Burger was a hit, okay, and that was Sam's baby. <laughs> Dick, <laughs> Dick Burger happened. I, it, one of the best. Have you ever had a man? <laughs> <laughs> this is how Sam is. You can just be like literally talking about nothing, and she will just be like, "You ever blown someone behind a sh- steak and shake?" What? I'm like, no. I mean, not. I'm not judging, but like that was a well, random question. <laughs> it, 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 some me. of the most amazing stories. Uh, so funny. Uh. But uh, no, Suzanne, thanks so much. Uh, it's we did it, we did it, and you're thanks for closing out with me. I appreciate yeah. you. Keep the lighting tight; it looks amazing. You know, at least I can do that, right? You know. I know, Suzanne Lawrence. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's weird. Uh, I'll wait, see you wait, soon. No, that's wait. Not High five. Wait, no, that's heavy. No. Hold on. Yeah. Wait. So go like this. I think so. Bam. Wait. Cheers. Okay. okay, my arm's broken. Whatever. All right. Bye, Suzanne. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> but anyway, boom, we did it. Uh, we did a show. I feel I feel bad that uh, Samantha couldn't make it in, but we had a show. Yeah. Uh, Daddy's tipsy. I'm feeling great. It's a good happy hour. It was good because I feel like I, uh, you know, I, I started this show, like I said, to hang out with friends. And it's really, I want it to be like I'm just sitting around with some friends, like cutting up with my comedian friends. And uh, you're sitting at the table across from us and get to uh, watch how ridiculous we are and have the conversations. You just get to peek in. That's what it is. Uh, so thanks for hanging out. Uh, I got to refill the Death Star. Um, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Once again, if you want to support live comedy, you want, you know, the links are, I commented in the links. If you want to check it out, whatever, please support with a shekel or whatever. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Friday night. Um, and also, oh yeah, I was going to say, uh, every Friday night, come back every Friday. Do I sound drunk? I sound drunk. <laughs> um, also the grown dad business podcast. Like I said, that you can still check out those episodes, uh, anywhere you listen to podcasts, patreon.com slash Aaron Kleiber have videos. We did it. We did it. Thanks, Adam. It was good. It was good. It was a good show. Uh, are you tipsy? Because I've not seen a woman in months and you're looking to, <laughs> you know, that's rude. Um, you guys, <laughs> too good, too good, too. I was like, I was like, what is that? Adam was just like, it's 2 1 AM and Aaron's the only one left in the bar. <laughs> uh, I am guys. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. It's always a good time every Friday. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining in. Cheers. Thanks, honey. Thanks for joining in. We did yeah. it.